Today, I am gonna show you how to fine tune Llama 2. This has been one of the most requested videos from you guys, and I am so excited to show you how to do it. Fine tuning can be a little intimidating, but in this video, I'm gonna walk you through step by step, and it's gonna be so simple. Fine tuning a model basically means you're giving additional information to the model so that you can either train it on use cases that it didn't know about, you can give it more information about your business, or you can have it reply in certain tones. In this video, is brought to you by Gradient, and Gradient's the platform I'm gonna be using today to do the fine tuning. They offer $10 in free credits, and they not only allow you to do fine tuning, but they allow you to do inference as well. So if you wanna build artificial intelligence models into your application, this is a super easy way to do it. And the easiest part, we're gonna be using Google Colab to do the fine tuning. So you don't need to write any code at all, I've done it for you. And with that, let me show you how to do it. Let's go. So this is Gradient's homepage. The first thing you're gonna do is click the sign up button and you're gonna sign up for a new account. Once you log in, you're gonna be greeted with this interface. You're not gonna have these existing workspaces here and you're gonna go ahead and click here, create new workspace. Give it any name you want and hit submit. Now I'm gonna be using my existing YT testing workspace, but you use whatever you created. And so to do the fine tuning, you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need the workspace ID, which you can find here, and you're gonna need a token for the API. And so you click this little avatar in the top right, you go to access tokens and generate new token. It's going to ask for your password. And then once you enter your password, you click log in and it's going to give you that new token and you just copy it. So here's a new token. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to switch over to Google Colab. Now I'm using a free version of Google Colab. You don't need to pay for it at all. So right here where it says access token, you're going to put your own token, paste it right in there. And I am going to revoke both of these tokens before publishing the video. Next, you're gonna need the Gradient Workspace ID. So switch back to Gradient, we're gonna X out of here, we're gonna hit back, and then in YT testing, that's the one I'm gonna use, I'm gonna grab this Workspace ID and I'm gonna copy it. Switch back to Google Colab, and right here, I'm gonna paste it in. So that's it. Now what we're gonna need to do is actually run some of these commands. So the first thing we're gonna do is install the Gradient AI module. And to do that, we do pip install Gradient AI dash dash upgrade, and just hit the play button right there. And of course, Gradient offers a command line interface, and you can also run Gradient straight from a Python file on your local computer. So I already have the requirements satisfied because I've already run it, but if you didn't, it would install it. Next, we're going to run this second box, and this is import OS, and we're, then we're going to use OS to actually set the environment variables, gradient access token and gradient workspace ID. So let's go ahead and run that now. Done. And we're almost there, actually. This is the last script we need to run. And I'm going to walk you through step by step what each line of this script does. So first, we're just importing the gradient library. And then right here on this line, we're using the gradient library, and we're setting the base model. And the base model is just the model you want to use that you're going to be fine tuning on top of. And for this video, we're going to be using Naus Hermes 2. And Naus Hermes 2 is a fine tuned version of Llama 2. Now switching to the gradient documentation, go to the guide section, and then we're going to click models. And right here, we have a list of the models that you can fine tune on that gradient supports. Gradient is currently working on adding other models, including code Llama, which I can't wait for. So they have three models, Bloom 560, Llama 2, this is the base version of Llama 2. They have the 7 billion and 13 billion parameter models. And then they have Naus Hermes Llama 2, which is a fine-tuned version of the Llama 2 13B model. Now you are going to need the slug ID. That is what you enter in Google Colab. So right here, here's the slug ID and we grabbed Naus Hermes 2. But of course, if you wanted to use Bloom or Llama 2 base, you would just grab these slugs right here. Switching back to Google Colab, you can see right here we have that slug. So here we're just loading up the base model. Now in this next few lines of code, we're going to be creating the model adapter. And basically what that means is it's just a copy of the base model that we're going to fine tune. And so I'm going to name it test model three. You can name it whatever you want. And then on this next line, I'm simply printing the model adapter ID. Then for the query I want to run, this is actually what the prompt is going to be. We're using who is Matthew Berman. And if you can tell, we're actually using the Llama 2 prompt template, which is hash, 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 instruction, colon, and then the instruction, two new lines, three more hashes, response, colon, and that's where the completion is going to happen. And if you're using Bloom or a different model eventually, you just want to make sure that your prompt template matches up with the model. Here, I just output what the sample query is going to be. And then I do things
things in three steps. First, I want to output what the response is going to look like before fine tuning. And the question I'm asking is, who is Matthew Berman? Llama 2 and now Hermes Llama 2 have no idea who I am. So they're going to give me a false result. Then I'm going to fine tune and I have the samples here and I'll talk about that in a second. Then we're going to run it again. And then we're going to see that the model now does have the information about who is Matthew Berman. So to run a completion and a completion basically just means a prompt and response. We're going to have the new model adapter. So that's the model copy. And we're going to say complete. And then we have the query, the max generated token count. And I believe this can be up to 4096 in length. And then the generated output command. And then we're just going to print what the response is. And then down here, we start to get into the samples. This is the training data. Now I'm going to create an entire separate video about all the tips and tricks to get the best results based on the data set that you're using to fine tune. But for now, we're just going to go through this simply. And I give it three samples. Who is Matthew Berman? Matthew Berman is a popular video creator who talks about AI. Who is the person named Matthew Berman? Matthew Berman is a YouTuber who talks about AI and so on. And it's good to give multiple examples so that the model has more examples to base its knowledge on. And a lot of the times it's good to give the inverse example as well. So who is Matthew Berman? Matthew Berman is a YouTuber who talks about AI and who is a YouTuber who talks about AI? It is Matthew Berman. In this, we didn't have to do it, but you may want to try that out. Again, I'm going to include all of these tips and tricks in a future video. Now, these next few lines of code right here are where the actual fine tuning occurs. And it couldn't be easier. It's just a few lines of code. And honestly, it's really just this one line of code. New model adapter dot fine tune, and then you provide the samples. But what we're going to do is we have the num epochs variable here. And epochs, you can think about fine tuning iterations. So we're going to fine tune it once, twice, three three times. And the more times you do it, the better results you get. However, there is a risk of doing it too many times and then you start to get bad results and that's called overfitting. But again, I'm going to get more into the details about that in a future video. For now, we're going to leave the epochs at three and then we have the count at zero. That's the number of iterations. And we say as long as count is less than the number of epochs, we're going to print the iteration. We're going to run the fine tune and then we're going to increment the count variable. So it's going to run three times. It's going to fine tune that model three separate times. And we're fine tuning it on the same data set each time. Then after the fine tuning, what we're doing here is we're simply going to generate the prompt and response again. And we're going to see if we actually have information about who is Matthew Berman. And then at the very end, we delete the adapter because I don't actually need it after this. However, if you want to use this for your own personal use, or you want to use it for your business, you would just delete this line and you keep the model adapter. And then you can actually hit the API and use this now fine tuned model. So let's run it. Let's see what happens. I click start. I'm going to scroll down and we're going to watch the output here. So there we go. Created model adapter with ID and it gives me the model ID. Asking instruction who is Matthew Berman. Matthew Berman is a writer and producer known for his work on the television series The Comeback and Curb Your Enthusiasm. Now, although Curb Your Enthusiasm is one of my favorite shows of all time, I had nothing to do with it, unfortunately. And here we go. We see that it's fine tuning iteration one, two, and three. And now it should be running the next completion with that new fine tuned model. And there it is generated after fine tune. Matthew Berman is a popular YouTube who creates content about AI and its impact on society. So cool. And just like that, we have our very own custom fine-tuned model. It really could not be easier than that. Now, the data set that you're working with is so critical. So I'm excited to make that next video about all the tips and tricks necessary. But one tip I'm going to give you right now is to use ChatGPT to help you create the data sets. So for example, I'm going to highlight these samples that I created by hand. I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to switch over to ChatGPT. And I'm going to say, here is a data set for training an LLM. Please create more variations of this data set for training. Keep it in the same format. And then I just paste in the existing one. Hit enter and it's going to generate me more. So use ChatGPT to create your own data set. It's super easy. And you can actually ask it to create a data set about any topic it's familiar with. So you can say, give me a bunch of training data based on using the voice of Eric Cartman from South Park or any character you want, or give me a data set that specializes in quantum mechanics. And that's the biggest tip for creating your data set that I'm going to give you today. And so there we go. It's actually creating a bunch of different variations and I could use this. I just copy it, switch back and I would just paste it in right here, but I don't need to do that because it already trained properly. And that's it. Again, you're done. You have everything you need. Now, again, 
Gradient gives $10 in free credits. I'm gonna drop all the links in the description below, the link to this Google Colab, the link to Gradient, and go get your $10 in free credits, train your own model, use their inference engine. It's super exciting. And I know that they have on their roadmap the ability to download these models so that you can use it locally as well. So let me know the fine tuning that you do. I wanna hear about all of your creative ideas for fine tuning models. And thank you again to Gradient. This was awesome. And if you liked this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.